Before I begin the dissection of the frog, I want to actually take the skin off of one of his legs. This leg already has a little bit of skin missing, so we're going to start there. Uh, in between where his legs meet is the opening of his cloaca. You see mine's actually bubbling, it's kind of funny. So, everybody keeps asking, can frogs fart? Perhaps we can. Near the center of his leg, there should be loose skin. Make a small incision. Put your scissors sideways. And you can cut through his skin around the leg. Go ahead and make the turn to the rear side. Put your scissors into the loose skin. And cut around the skin on his leg. Turn your scissors sideways. You might have to wiggle them back and forth a little bit to loosen it. And continue the cut until you make it to the other side. Now you can see that we have the skin loose around this side. It's not completely loose because your skin is attached to your muscle. That's what keeps us from being able to well, keep, get it out of place too much. It's loose enough so it is attached. Go ahead and cut down the side on the outside and on the underside as well. Peel back the skin and cut any connecting tissues. Remember to be aware of where your hands are at all times. Do not cut your own hands. Turn them over and repeat the process of cutting any connecting tissues. Try not to cut through muscles. Then maybe stuff to the skin a little bit. So just loosen it as you go. Turn your scissors sideways so that you don't cut through the tissues underneath. Continuing on down the leg, you can kind of pull it down around the knee. Snip anything you need to snip to loosen it. Remember to be aware of where your fingers are. Lots of connective tissue at the knee. The frog does not want skin around his knee sliding around. Neither do you. Just continue to pull gently. Just not any connecting tissue. Put your scissors under the skin, sideways, and snip. At this point, you might want to cut off any excess skin. Now you can continue with the foot, or you can stop there. I'm going to try to continue. And do the skin sideways. And pull. Now you can see we've removed the webbing between his toes. We can see his bones, his ligaments, and his tendons. 
You can see the frog's Achilles tendon, like we have on the back of our heel, running on the back of his heel, up to his calf muscle. You can flex the frog's leg. You can see the muscles move a bit.